Hi everyone, Christina again, and today we have a new postmarked box. Postmarked is the um, the box that sends you note cards and postcards and even postage and some writing accoutrement. <laughs> I think I said that right. Um, and it's to get you back in the snail mail. You know, think about parents and grandparents how much they hate having to email or find out find pictures on Facebook that you post. They want to see that stuff. They want it in their hands. Um, I'm one of those people, I prefer to have it digital because then I can print out if I want and hang it or I can, you know, I can look at it whenever I want on my phone or I can use it as a contact picture for you when you call me. Um, but if I got a picture in the mail or a letter in the mail, I, it would just be so, it's like you, you spent more time and put more effort into getting in touch with me. Um, I've used a couple of the note cards um, so far. I gave a couple to my neighbor. She's very, very, like, she's into farmer's markets and stuff. And I think it was last month's box was li very, like, farmer's markety. Um, I think that was the theme with farmer's market, actually. And she, I just knew she would love it. So I let her have it. She's 60-something. Um, so I knew that they were, like, right in her wheelhouse. She would love it. So I gave a few of the things to her, and she's been having a ball writing and, and stuff like this. And she's even writing to people she hasn't talked to in a while. So, all right, Postmarked Studio. Yes, Postmarked Studio is postmarked without the E in marked. Studio.com. Got to remember that. All right. And it's always so cute when I open it because it's just this little little square thing or rectangle thing all nicely wrapped so I'm going to rip the paper so sad I hate ripping the paper when it looks so pretty but gotta get to their goodies oh, oh this will be fun old school box post box edition 3 so this is we took a nostalgic look at back to school as we curated this retro old school post box we like to think of this as a box this box as a classic filled with cool yet modern goodies Happy writing, Anne. Um, I'm not going to read what's in here, but this is so stinking cute. I love fun little paper clips. That is adorable. <laughs> so this is going in my stash. And it's on this little, like, um, they, my, so, uh, my son brings his report cards home in these envelopes. So, uh, okay, so there's nothing in the envelope. Why is there nothing in the envelope, I wonder? Let's find out. Oh, oh, this month we highlight a fantastic organization that we hope will resonate with you like it has for us. Letters for the Elderly, and that's loveforthelderly.org. So many elderly people have no one to care for them, no one to look after them, no one to love them. We are here to help change that. Founded in December of 2013 by high school student Jacob Kramer, Love for the Elderly is a 501c3 organization whose mission is simply striving to provide love for the elderly. You have the potential to bring a huge smile to someone and all it takes is one letter. Take a few minutes, sit down, and write a letter to an elder telling them about yourself, how your day's going, maybe include a joke or a riddle, and make sure to let them know that they are loved. Making a beautiful or making a difference can be so simple yet it can be incredibly impactful. Cards must be legible, accepted in any of the following languages, English, Italian, German, French, or Spanish. Don't include the date in your cards. Avoid religion. Um, try and make your cards as creative as possible. The recipients love it when the cards are more personalized. Check out the website, for example. So loveforthelderly.org. So you would fill out your card, but don't seal the envelope. Put the card in its envelope, but don't seal the envelope. And then you put all of those cards or your one card and you could put it in something like this and send it all in one. So you send, you take all your cards that you fill out, stick them in a bigger envelope and send them off to the company, Love for the Elderly, and they will dole them out. I think that is so cool. What a great way to highlight something so wonderful and especially snail mail. Like I said, older generations tend to, you know, like the snail mail idea. They like to hold things. They like to read your handwriting and stuff like that. That is awesome. Give it a try. All right, I'm going to set that over there. I'm actually going to put the cool little paper clip back on here because I don't want to lose it. All right, we'll do that. All right. Ooh, and my little package. He comes all in a little. I don't want to drop anything. We always get our postmarked studio pencil. Can never run out of pencils. We get our postage, which I absolutely love that you give the postage because 
If you're like me, um, you can write and write and write and you would never find a freaking stamp in the house. <laughs> I don't have anything that I have to pay by check because of that reason. I, I always forget envelopes and stamps. I have envelopes now, but I don't always have stamps. Although with Postmark sending me these boxes, now I have stamps. Um, and we get the Postmark Studio postcard. You know, I could have used these back when I started my book box that I decided wasn't going to work after a couple months. Library cards. They're like a little notepad of library cards. That is so cute. Okay, I got to get the list here because I got to know what stuff is. Um, Frankie and Claude, located in Camas, Camas, C A M A S, Washington, created this retro set of library cards. Perfect for almost anything from note taking to list making to crafts. They also make amazing note cards. So we have included a set of 10 envelopes lined with pages from recycled books. Aw, that must be these. Okay. And let me open up the envelope. Look at this. You get white, blue, green, yellow, and pink. And they're library cards. The old timey, they, you know, stick in the back of the book. If you remember those, you're probably close to my age. And I'm not saying. Look. The Great Gatsby. That's it is. It's recycled books. That is so cool. Something by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, everyone is is a book. It's a recycled book page inside. That's awesome. I love these. I love. I think they're so cool. Very cool. These I'm going to keep for myself. These I will save to write little notes um, and send them off. Or to um, when I send my mom or my aunt boxes or something, I like to put a little note in. So that'll be cool. Oh my gosh, I love these! I love these! I love them! Love them! <laughs> All right, the original laptop since 1866. Oh, that's a postcard. Look at that original laptop. I have an old typewriter. I don't have this old a typewriter. I have an old electric typewriter that was in my grandparents' house that I got and. Um, I haven't been able to use it, but it's from Montgomery Ward, <laughs> and it does work. So, um, but yeah, that's cool. And then the postcard thing on the back, I like that. That's cute, 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 cute. Oh, that's so cute. All right, what's this one? Okay, let's do this one. A nostalgic letterpress postcard from A Dot Favorite Design, Chicago, Illinois, is perfect for a quick note to an old friend. Cool. All right, and then this one is a mini calendar card from Blackbird Letterpress, located in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. This card is an illustration by Rebecca Chrysler, a perfect mini gift for a birthday celebrating a milestone or just because. Go old school and display it on your desk or wall. Oh, that's cool. Is it an actual calendar? It is. That's so cool. <laughs> I love these little surprises. I think it's an actual it is. Look. January 2018. Look. There's more. And February and March. It's an actual entire calendar. That is so freaking cool. I love it. Blackbirdletterpress.com Oh, and it's just a single card, so you could write a little something on the back. It's got a nice envelope. Nice brown envelope to go with it. That is, that's adorable. That I like that. That is so cool. You're just really nailing it on this back box. I love everything so far. Oh, <laughs> this will bring back memories too, although I just bought these for my son. Pink Pearl, Nicole Ray of Slow Gin Fizz, located in Ann Arbor, Michigan, is a creator of this subtle yet stylish I'm Sorry card. Oh, excuse me. Her playful sense of humor shows in her whimsical designs. So that's an I'm Sorry card. That's so funny. Slow, S L O E G I N. F I Z Z dot Etsy dot com. And it is. It's it's like you're erasing your I'm sorry. Or you can use it as it doesn't have to be an I'm sorry. You can always use it as a back to school, you know, for college or um you know what that would be good for? And I don't have anybody in my life that I know doing it. Um someone who's like retired and going back to college, send them that card as a congratulations. They would get such a kick out of that, I bet. Well, I'm gonna hang on to that. I have to see if I can find somebody that is going back to school. Um, and this one is interactive. It says, hello. It says interactive right there. I don't understand. 
We love this interactive card from Warren Tales, located in San Diego, California. The card includes a detachable postcard, a modern way to create chain mail. We even included an extra postcard stamp. No way. No way. It's a twofer? Is that what I'm here what I'm understanding? It's a twofer. No way. It can't be. Okay, it says hello. And then you write your little note here to your friend. And then they tear it because it's perforated. Oh, can you see it's perforated? And then they can write here and send it to somebody else or send it back to you. And both of you get to use that part. That is freaking cool. That is amazing. I've never heard of such a thing. Oh, you guys, that's awesome. I'm sorry for all the vehicles going by outside. I'm hoping it's not coming through in the mic too much, but um, yeah, it's a busy, busy, busy day. This is this is so cool, and it's Warren W A R R E N Tales T A L E S dot com. That is freaking cool, Warren Tales. I love it. And uh, postmarked, you picked a good card. This, this is so cool. I like that. So much fun. And I have this cool little thing sitting in my lap that I haven't touched yet. And I thought it was just like uh, cardboard. But I now that everything's off the top of it, I can see. It is a pencil case. It's got pencils and a pink pearl eraser supposedly in it. So it does. Look at this little pencil case. Look at how cute. And we unzip it this way. And it has pre-sharpened yellow number two pencils. Paper Mate, number two, classic. And the little pink pearl eraser. I'm, I love it. I, I love everything. Now, yes, it's back to school. I'm very excited that the, you know, 11, almost 12 year old is back at school to give me time to do stuff quietly. I have to work around. But you guys did an awesome, awesome job with this box. I am so freaking happy. I just, I, I'm, I'm amazed. You you matched you made me think back to school, me going back to school when I was younger, and I just love that. So old school box post box edition. We have the pencil case with a whole bunch of pencils. I think there's like a dozen in here, ten a dozen something like that. And then the pink pearl eraser, which I love those. I always steal my sons. I always buy them extra so I can steal. Oh, let me get that back in there. Um. The hello twofer card. We're going to call it the twofer because you get to send a note card and then your friend gets to rip the one and a half off and send it as a postcard to you or somebody else. Very cool. Um, the pink pearl, I'm sorry, or back to school note card. This adorable little computer looking card that's actually an actual calendar that you can tear the pages off. I love that. This postcard, the original laptop. Nice and rustic but simple. Um, adorable, adorable freaking library cards that I'm going to use for my shopping list. <laughs> I'm going to be set when I run out, though. I'll tell you that. And the little envelopes to go to put them in if you want to mail them to somebody with a note. And inside the envelopes is um, pages from uh, classic novels. Um, the little paper clip cool little paper clip and the envelope to slide things in um, if you want to send stuff to uh, loveforthelderly.org you write up some note cards put them in send them off and they'll pass them along and then the postmarked little postcard postmarked pencil and postage including enough postage to put on the postcard that your friend gets to rip off that twofer so not only can you put the postage on to send it to them, but you can put postage on the postcard part so that when they send it out, it's already paid for. That makes it easier on them, so that gets them into the snail mail with less steps to be involved. So, but, all right. I always look at the postage because I, I, I like, I think postages, the pictures and stuff can be cool. So let's see what we got this month or this time. Get it all out here without losing anything. We have a... Um, it's a spoonbill. I don't know what bird that is, but spoonbill. Um, and then we have a red knot bird. Um, and then we have the total solar eclipse. Cool. And that's 
probably yeah it's a forever stamp this is a forever stamp um, Henry David Thoreau this is another forever stamp Jamie Escalante I don't know how I know he's an educator um, and then this is a forever stamp Andrew Wyeth I'm assuming that's a painting but yeah so postmark box postmark studio I love your stuff um, previously I've been slacking on getting the videos posted in time so I wanted to get this one done nice and early because I just got this um, yesterday day before two days ago I, I wait until I at least have a couple few boxes um, I only had three I actually have another one coming tomorrow but I didn't want to wait I wanted to get you know the ones that I have done so yes postmark studio awesome 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 job for back to school everything fit the theme everything was adorable everything was very useful um, the pencil case is going in my pocketbook actually so that when I'm out and I just want to like scribble draw I don't draw a lot because I'm not really good at drawing but sometimes I just like to scribble with a pencil um, and I have a notepad in my pocketbook all the time so I'll throw my little pencil patch in there maybe I'll throw some colored pencils in it too and I'll just be all set but postmark studio thank you thank you thank you so much um, I hope I'm getting more if I'm not perfectly okay I get it thank you for sending and uh, everybody check them out have a great day bye